Hey, I'm Chris Power, and this week we're going to teach you how to jump over logs. So what you want to do when you're coming up to a log, is you want to hit it square on. What this does is decreases the chance of you sliding left or right. As you're approaching the log, you want to be in first gear, which is usually the best gear for jumping over logs. As you're coming up, you want to approach it nice and slow, and just before you get to it, you want to preload the front suspension. Now what this does is helps lift the front wheel up before you get the blip on. Now the third stage of getting the front wheel up is a blip of the throttle. So what you've done is you've compressed the forks, you've pulled up on the, on the handlebars, and then you've given the throttle a bit of a blip. Now depending on how big the log is, what you're going to want to do is tap the front wheel on the top of the log. This also helps the front wheel lift up higher and help the bike go over. Now if the log is smaller than the ground clearance on your bike, you're not going to have to tap the front wheel on the log. You can just ride over it. Now after you've tapped the front wheel on the log, the front wheel is going a bit higher. What you want to do is you want to bounce the back with your feet, pushing on the foot pegs, and then lift up forward, just like you're bunny hopping a push bike. Just as your back wheel hits the log, pull the clutch in and turn the throttle off. What you don't want to do is the back wheel to start spinning up, it's going to spit you off the side of the log. Once over the log, you can let the clutch out again and power away. Now ideally you want to practice this at home. Start small and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And from now on, logs shouldn't be your problem. I'll see you next time.